Hello, no excuses, ladies. This is Eva Eckert. Thank you so much for coming and joining our Zoom meeting today. Today is the episode number three. I hope a lot of you will join. We are We are actually here on Zoom as well. I have a special guest today. Eliana is with me. But before we start actually discussing certain things, I wanted to go over like every week, what is this page all about? This page is all about like-minded women. Oh, hi, Anastasia. Hello, hello. Join me on the Zoom link. The Zoom link is actually on the top of the page. You can just click on the Zoom link and join me. If you have any questions or problems, let me know. So again, this page is all about like-minded women who want to stay fit and strong and healthy for life by applying the no excuses mindset so they can really succeed in businesses in life. I believe that primary attention is for our fitness, how we feel, how we, if we feel confident, if we work out daily. And then based on this, once this is outlined there and we have a good base and foundation, we can build upon this and succeed in business and in life. Because being a confident, that's one of the stages of going forward. So <clears throat> That's what the page is all about. You you can interact with each other. You can uh, find friends here, like-minded women. You never know who you're going to come across, right, in this page. Now, as you realize, we post, I only go once a week live. And my idea is to have some guests here so we can discuss certain things, so we can learn from them, not only from me, but also I can learn so much from you. So if you have any questions along the way, please post them here. If you're joining the Zoom, please post in the chat and we can always go and review this later. And of course, maybe you have specific topics that you want to discuss. Maybe you have something super specific for yourself that you really wanted to discuss. We can do this as well. So the homework from previous week was all about doing the video of yourself and I know that only one person did it and I strongly encourage you to go and do that video and I tagged this page I really put it in the announcement section for you to see it why this video first of all maybe some of you do not feel comfortable doing live videos maybe recording videos so right there is entering the no excuses mindset do it anyway and just going forward introducing yourself right who are you uh, what are you doing like what do you do uh, uh, as, as your main job what is that you're trying to collaborate who you're trying to collaborate with what you're trying to achieve what you're trying to build this is very important to have this foundation because some of you will come to this page and will be looking for a good coach and great program and finding out how you can actually learn this to do this because you're finding so many excuses in your life daily that will not lead you to actually spending some self-care and doing some self-care on you, right? Working out, staying fit, learning how to do this properly. But some of you will come to this page that are successful already, maybe have companies, maybe have already this figured out, but yet this part of being fit and healthy is not, or maybe you have both. And this is okay because we can learn something from you. So that's why I really wanted to see that video. It was short video, so please do it. Maybe right after when we're going to have the discussion today, you can do this. Stick to the few questions that I posted so we're not going to drift away. You're not going to say too much. Or write it down and read it from the paper. It's all good. So that was that previous homework from previous week. And Shout out to Kristen because Kristen did it. Thank you so much. This was great that she actually did it. But now it's turn for you. So please do it. Now, today, the topic of today is really how do you apply the no excuses mindset in staying fit and, and, and healthy regimen, right? For daily, daily in your life. And that's why I invited Eliana and we're going to have a few minutes of a discussion how she did it, how the changes, what changes she's seen it right? And I am going to, I see some of you coming on board, very nice. And I'm going to give you also a, a, a homework for next week. So stay tuned 
for this. Now, uh, Kristen, thank you so much for coming on board. She's with us here on Zoom. So I would like to start with Eliana. Uh, Eliana is actually here on Zoom, so she's not gonna be here live, but you're gonna hear her voice as she's gonna unmute herself. Eliana, are you unmuted already? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, first of all, I wanna say thank you for showing up today. This is great. Uh, for some of you might not know, Eliana, just tell your quick story about yourself. Just take over. Okay. <laughs> um, Eliana, I'm 27 years old, and I am from New York. I'm going to keep it short like Kristen did in her video. <laughs> All right. So the, 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 she introduced yourself. For those of you who don't know, Eliana, Eliana has been with us, uh, has been with Peak for quite some time, and uh, she's been a fantastic, awesome team leader. I learned so much from her. So right there, you can you can learn from someone, right? We all can learn from each other here, and that's why the page is created. But the reason why I invited her, because she was a client at one point. She never was a team leader. She, she came in for a reason. So that's why I want to go back to this, Eliana. And, and what was your first reason when you were back in a, at a client mode, why you decided to change, if you could tell us? Okay, well, that has been five years now, almost five years. Um, I was attending another gym. I actually had a personal trainer at another gym, and I wasn't getting what I really wanted, which was the actual intense workout, actually feeling better about myself. I have never really been extremely overweight, mm -hmm. um, but I was not 100% happy with how I felt, how I felt in my clothing, what I saw, and it was the main reason as to why then I started to see all these pop-ups of peak, 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 peak. <laughs> it was a Valentine's Day promotion, and I just jumped on it. Okay, so but so you, you didn't really get the results what you were looking for, but it, is there anything else specific that you experienced that you felt like, this change has to happen now. Was What was your biggest why? Why you wanted to do it? Well, I think when you go into a point where you are not happy with yourself, everything else in your path, you're not really happy with. Um, not just with, okay, our, my clothes is not fitting good, but just overall, you don't, you don't want to go out. Um, you might not be giving the best of you to others um, around you. So everything in general just wasn't in line as to how I wanted it. No, perfect. It's, it's right there as you see. She gave the points. And I'm sure that some of you can relate to this. If not now, maybe in the past. Or you don't know, maybe you're entering that stage right now. That this is where you are right now. And, and I think that represents not only one person, but so many, right? So many of us done it or experienced this or will experience something like this and that's right there gives the point so we already know that peak happened right but if you could just tell a little bit about like overall the experience and or why you stick with us for so long as a client um okay so then so then February 16th I entered the doors of peak for the first time in my life I was Nervous as heck. I couldn't even freaking find the place. Probably missed the exit like a thousand times. <laughs> um, but then I arrived. I arrived and just the minute I went in, just the energy, just the feeling, the connection right away, the, the feel of we're working on it together, we're trying to become better. That was like just the, the, the same. The, I felt that right away the minute I walked in. And I just knew that this was the place. That's awesome. So right from the beginning, then obviously right now everything is virtual. But when you come on those virtual sessions, you get the energy immediately because not only you, but other people are there. And because we know what chaotic world we live in right now, we have to adapt and overcome and take what's the best out of the worst scenario because this is it's like the worst scenario that we've seen in movies if you think about it like we were asking i think for it 
we always were creating the zombie movies and all the catastrophic craziness and now we have the pandemic so we got to take the best out of it and that's what you see the moment that you step on board but now tell me what habits have changed what have you implemented let's put it now five years ago when you started what has changed there uh well a lot of things have changed. So tell us. So, so um, five years ago, I would say I might I didn't have the structure that I have today. Okay. Um, maybe I would work out one day, not work out the other day. Okay. And I actually have an actual schedule. Okay. Um, that I have that I go by today and every day. Like right now, if I pull up my calendar right now, you'll see in my calendar for the whole entire month when I have my workout schedule. And not only that, but just entirely your your mindset overall, um, you kind of learn to stand up for yourself, for your belief, and kind of just be a go-getter and go for what you want and not have anyone stop you. That's amazing. So really like the the fitness has transformed you in so many ways and like you said you be, the organization you know where the workouts happening but also the foundation of confidence right you became so much confident so much such a strong believer in you but also why why do you think because because it's not just the workouts it's just the overall mindset right so but yes. if you if you would think about mindset like how how on earth the mindset played such a strong role in just the gym? Like uh, how? When it comes to yeah, when it comes to the peak, when it comes to the peak, because you know you coming, you were coming here for the workouts. You come here for the workouts, but what is there behind? Like, how do you think? How how do we work on that mindset there at peak? Well, when it comes to peak, they, uh, you know. They, we, I just have to say we because I'm part of it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not just going over the nutrition and applying the workouts. It all really has to start with the mind. And it's really applying on a daily basis as having no excuses. And really, again, it comes down to what you want, how bad do you want it. And it, you know, it's really up to you. Are you going to get there or not? And I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but through all, all the obstacles, you will just learn more lessons and create a bigger foundation for yourself. That's that's really awesome point. And well, also, do you think? Well, that's that's I always say it comes in hand hand <laughs> in hand because we 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 become more confident when we feel good with ourselves, right? But sometimes people go the other opposite direction. They maybe wanted to start the business and do something else, but then the confidence level is not there because they're not taking the self-care, right? They don't put themselves as priority. So in peak, we have decided that we need to step up to the game, to the game of life being having that number one priority, which is us. So we can become not only better parents, but better spouses, better uh, communicators, uh, influencers, having better friendships when we do the self-care. Because when we take care of ourselves, we can take care better of others, right? So I know that I know some of you are here on on the on the Facebook Live, and I wanted to tell you as Aliana was speaking, let me tell you one true thing. Fact, I wanted to help one of you but then what i start doing i would lose her fault and then i said yeah i can't do it because i would answer you and not her so uh, my apologies i cannot give you the access i know that something is going on with the access on the facebook i don't know why it's asking us for passwords but i will take care of this and we will figure this out so um i i see and um, Danielle is answering awesome job. It's so true. I never thought in a million years I'd be one of the success stories. I saw it, but I gave it a try. And thanks to Peak, I'm down 70 pounds, happier, more confident and healthier than ever. And yes, this is this is a foundation. So ladies, we need to take care of ourselves first, right? In order to care take care of our others. But now, Eliana, if you could compare the scenario just for a second. Look at your life a few years ago before you started Peak. 
Look at your whole persona, like how you were. And now look at yourself now. If you could give a quick comparison to those two. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that in the past, I would say I would be a lot more shy. I would not, I, I would just stay in my little box where now I am not afraid to break the box and just come out and be me and be proud of me. And I have to tell you, when she said coming out of the box, I mean, if you would have met her, you would have thought that that's how she was. But she, like, entered a new skin. I mean, somewhere deep in the level, I believe that that's what it was. But then through taking care of yourself, uh, achieving amazing transformation, like you said, you never was, you were never overweight, but you, you had that little extra layer, we can call it. But now you're doing photography and pictures and posing and all this stuff. So it's, it's such a truly amazing story. And, and it can happen to any of us. I, I mean, Danielle, right there, 70 pounds weight loss and, and, and still going and keep on trying your best, right? So I believe that you're going to have this in life. And don't be afraid to break this pattern. I mean, you might be somewhere here right now, but what you need to do is, is really say to yourself, I can't, that selfishness when it comes to this, uh, the, 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 the foundation of it, like being, okay, I need to have that hour for myself in order to serve better others and to become better, better person and, and, and more confident. And like you said this in a, in a few minutes ago, when you said that, you know, when you don't feel good about yourself, the whole world kind of changes the colors, I think, right? And, and you might feel even angry or feel resentment and just the days are not as good as they supposed to. So we wanted to have the best life possible, but in order to do that, we need to spend that one hour of ourselves. And in this case, that would be the, the, the workouts, right? The workouts and learning how to eat healthy and, and become strong and fit. And it might take some time. It will not happen overnight for some of us. And for any of us, no, the, the Rome was not built in one day, right? It takes days and years and months sometimes. But staying committed, staying, staying committed and, and staying consistent will give you the change. So it's not just a temporary, right? Now, just to finish off, some of you already know this, but some of you are already outside from um, other, other places, other gyms. Eliana. The program itself, if you would not be a part of Peak, why would you overall recommend this program? What is different about this program that's been such a success? And now we're talking, now we're talking ladies, we're talking about virtual because that's the new reality. I'm not even talking about the in-person. I'm talking the virtual. Why would you recommend this program and for who, really? Well, I think that it still stays the same almost as when we were in person. After you leave the Zooms, let's say, or the Facebook Lives, that's it. It's not that the coach is no longer with you. You're constantly having the accountability. We're constantly calling you, trying to make sure that you're getting to the actual results because we want to make sure that you're actually getting to where you want to get to that is our goal for you and that if that is your goal our goal is to actually guide you to get there yes. so it's almost the same thing as in person we're not just letting you you know come in and close the door and then that's it we're it's till the end <clears throat> i love this when you said this yes that's the constant touch and 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 constant <laughs> interaction with people that's what we've been doing and and that's what we would like to suggest the program. But hear, hear me out here. We we did this. Uh, we wanted to discuss this. I wanted to discuss this with Aliana. Obviously, uh, that's what we we do. We we have the we have peak physique. We coach. We we do the intense program intensity, right? But it's because her transformation was so amazing, and uh, in any area of life, so either here or even somewhere else, the point is just create that one hour for yourself 
and start from this from start from the baseline but you can't just think about it you can't just say i will think about it because thinking will not get you anywhere it has to be supported by action and if you make that first step and just go for it and do it everything falls into the right place and that's why I also did the one of the homeworks. We had the AM and the PM regimen when I kind of put certain questions for you, certain things to do. As Eliana said, she knows what time she will be working out. I know exactly what time my workout will happen, either today or tomorrow or Friday. I know. And I designate the time to schedule. So if our schedule, if your schedule is so hectic, you need to sit down over the weekend, right? And figure this out. Figure this out in a week. Figure this out in two weeks and three weeks. And find a program that really works for you. Find the program that is accountable. Find the program that will give you the results that you're looking for. And not just going through the motions, right? Because going through the motions will not get you anywhere. Anywhere, this was this was great, and I I wanted to say to you, Aliana, yes, she's sick. You can see, you can kind of sun and see her. She is sick, but look at this. She took the no excuses, and she said, you know what? I am coming on board even if I'm sick because I made the promise to this girl that asked me to just come on board, <laughs> which is me. I made a promise, I'm going to show up and I'm going to do it even if I am sick. And that's how they, and that's what you learn also with PEAK, with the PEAK program, that you just make no excuses. We just got to do it. We just got to do it either way. Just do it. And this wasn't our saying. It was Nike saying, just do it. But that's what it is. Just do it. Don't be, don't think, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it that you're sick. Just do it do it so eliana thank you so much you probably wanted to cough <laughs> and we're keeping you here but i see i have danielle i have Chas, i have also anastasia here kristen arlene and and eliana we are all here together today so every week will be and i have tyson this is the you know excuses ladies network and i have the guy coming in here one two three people yes well we have some other people here <laughs> thank you buddy so ladies i i have a homework for you your homework is to do the homework from your previous week because how we can move it in what we were asked for right so let's do the homework Let's do this quick video and interact, ask questions from each other. You have information there. And again, this page is not for us to saturate and to keep on posting and thinking another page I have to think about. No, it's a once a week meeting. So if we, I'm going to promise you, I'm going to fix the password. I'm going to figure this out. Why is like that? And some other people coming on board without the password. So I'm not sure. Maybe you need a new version of Zoom. I'm not sure. And that's why we have chat and we can post this information in chat and ask questions and things like that. So any questions, Kristen, I see you are on, on, on a Zoom here. Arlene, if you have any questions, let us know before we wrap up. If not, do the video from a previous week. Do it and post it and we're going to discuss new things next week. Sounds good? Okay, I see, I see everybody going like this. <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining and uh, we will see you next week, okay? Talk to you soon and have a no excuses day. Bye.